What's up everybody? Uh, today I decided to do a video on how to uh, completely uninstall your drivers from the computer whether uh, these drivers are display drivers or chipset drivers or other components of, of the hardware drivers. Uh, now uh, this technique, uh, this software that we're going to be using uh, helps uninstall any of the drivers and applications that won't uh, uninstall through uh, the normal ways of going through control panel and uh, add or remove programs and try to uninstall it from there. So if it does not work like that, then I advise uh, downloading this uh, software right here, Driver Refusion. Now if you have Steam, you can get this from Steam. Uh, if you don't have Steam, you can go to Google and type in Driver Refusion and it will come down. It's free to get. Uh, you can download it free. There's a premium version, but it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not really necessary. Uh, you don't really need that. Uh, it's better to just get the standard edition, free edition, and you'll be able to do the scan on the computer for the uh, specified component that you're trying to install drivers for. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch this application right here and show you guys on how it's done, how it works. Uh, it's pretty simple and uh, whenever you run this uh, application it will come up with these tabs over here. It tells you what sort of components are in your uh, computer in your system. So I have chips, a display, driver, keyboard, uh, mouse, network, uh, phys uh, physics, uh, printer, set point, uh, sound, blah blah blah. So we have a lot of things there. So uh, my main issue was trying to uninstall NVIDIA drivers. It would not uninstall uh, through um, going through control panel. So I decided to get this program. Then I went ahead and uh, clicked on display drivers. And my drivers, uh, my graphics card is by NVIDIA. So all you got to do is uh, tap here and then just click delete. Uh, I'm not going to do that, obviously, I mean, there's no, no more issues with my drivers, but this is for those who are having those issues and are not uh, knowing their way around on how to fix it. So this will give you a tip on how to fix that, and then you can go back to NVIDIA's website and we download the driver, the latest driver, and install it onto your system. Now, this video has helped, guys. Um, please do make sure to subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any issues, and I'll do my best to get back to you ASAP. Peace out.